Hey guys, I've got some good stuff for you today. In fact, I want to talk to you about brand messaging and I want to talk to you about why your brand message is broken and how to fix it in 60 seconds. And so to make good on that promise, I'm going to tell you the three crushed questions right now that you need to run your brand message through in order to filter it and make sure that it is effective. So the first thing is, is your brand message clear? If not, you need to get clarity. Um, number two, does your brand message show your competence? If not, you need to show your competence. And number three, it needs to be concise, right? So if it is super long and super wordy and not very clear about what you're trying to say, revise it and learn how to be more concise. All right, there it is. But let's run through what all of those things mean because when your brand message is not compelling and it's not clear, it's not concise, and it doesn't show your competence, all these C words, right? Um, then, you know, something is wrong. And if clients, then most likely it has to do with your brand message and not your other brand elements. So we just covered uh, a logo versus branding and which one you should really be investing in first and which one you need to um, have the most clarity on when you're getting started in your business. And we made a case for the fact that you really need to have clarity about what your brand is because your brand message informs all of your other assets, your visuals, your photography, um, your vector-based social media posts, um, your logo, your sub-logo marks, right? Um, that your textures, your, your whole vibe comes from your message. So let's jump into that. And um, let's, let's start with number one. Let's just get right into it. So we need to get some clarity really quickly. And we don't want to spend a ton of time on this um, because we need to just at a glance be able to figure out, am I being clear about my messaging? So what comes easily to you um, that you just love doing, right? So the first, we need to get clarity on us and clarity who, about who we're talking to. So what comes easily to us that we just love doing? And, and as we think about this, we can even break it down into some further questions of what is it that you could talk about for hours that you could lose track of time talking about it? For me, I love talking about branding and your message and your mission and how to get visible with that and getting behind people's like kingdom dreams and desires of their hearts. And that for me, man, I could talk about it all day. So what are the people who know you, people closest to you, what do they say that your strengths are? Um, and this is a very important question. I talk about strengths-based branding a lot here. And so if you don't know what your strengths are or you're not kind of hearing a consistent message, go to Strength Finders 2.0. I swear these people should make me their spokesperson because I just love this philosophy. I love this book and I love being able to apply it to branding. They don't necessarily apply it to branding. I do. So, um, so know what your strengths are and then what do people come to you for help with, right? What, what is the thing that people always come to you, to you for? For me, it's like, Brittany, can you do this thing in Photoshop? Brittany, can you help me with my website? Brittany, can you help me with this techie thing? And I'm like, yes, I can help you with that thing. So it's very easy for me. It is not as easy for them. So figure out what are the things that come easy for you that do not come easy to other people. Get very clear on that. Then you need to stay clear on what is the biggest impact and desire that you want to make. This is going to allow you to say no to certain opportunities and yes to the right ones. Because just because it's an opportunity, we don't want to be operating out of this place of desperation, right? And that comes through when we're saying yes to everything, but those yeses aren't leading us to our ultimate destination, which for a lot of us is a business that affords us to be present with our loved ones and allows us to travel or allows us to, um, invest and create an income that affords us a lifestyle of freedom down the road when we're ready to retire. Um, so think about the legacy, the impact that you want to have, and then work backwards. And so when it comes to your business in terms of, you know, at the end of the day, what is the client transformation that you are responsible for helping them to achieve? What are the benefits and results that you want to leave them with at the end of their time working with you? So think about the impact, the legacy, and the end of day, end of, end of your time working together, result or transformation. And then three, be super clear about who you help. Um, this is a surefire way to lose potential clients. Um, and th this is it. 
when you speak to everyone, right? You speak to no one and you hear this all the time. And it's so true. Speak to specific people and they will say, wait, I think Brittany's talking to me and they're going to perk up and they're going to listen. And they're going to say, I need that. I need that thing that she's talking about because I'm stuck there and I can't get over it. This is my obstacle to success. This is my obstacle to freedom. This is my obstacle to grace. Okay. So once you get clarity, that was part one of the framework. Um, two, you need to show your competence. So you really need to start positioning yourself as the expert. Share about some wins that you have. And this is not just like tooting your own horn and patting yourself on the back. This is saying like, if you don't have any clients, I've had 40. Let me show you how I did that. Let me help you do that, right? It is not a like, oh, I have 40 clients and you have none. It is a, I have 40 clients and I love working with them. And I know that this is where you want to be. Let's help you get your first one. Okay. That is something I can help you with. And I have the evidence. I have the testimonials. I have the portfolio. I have whatever to prove it. Okay. So then um, once you can start showing and positioning yourself as the expert or as the authority, um, then you can start to make yourself more accessible and more relatable and more human. Um, this is something that I talked about just yesterday in an inspired live that I did on Instagram. And I said, you know what? Um, I have, I've heard feedback that it looks like I've got it all together, almost to the point where it's inaccessible. And I said, you know what? That is not my heart. That is not the case. And um, man, I have definitely hit the send button before I was ready. And I sent out an email blast to the wrong people and had to say, oops, I'm sorry. That was not for you. <laughs> Super embarrassing, but you just have to own that because we make mistakes and technology is wonky some days. Um, so make sure that you stay human in the online space. Okay. And then lastly, in your competence, you also need to show confidence because if you are not excited about you, then who else is going to be excited about you? And when your clients are excited about working with you, they're more likely to say, yes, I will pay X amount of dollars to, to work with you or pay for this service that you provide. So show, um, show your expertise and make sure you stay human, stay accessible, relatable, um, and then also show, show your confidence. Be proud of what you can do because you do good work. <laughs> Lastly, be concise, be concise. So this is an exercise that I like to do over and over and over. And it's very simple. You just break out a sheet of paper, make a list of 20 things, up to 20 things that you help your clients do. Um, and then that, that's the first step. So without doing anything else, write down a list of 20 things that you help clients do. So that could say, look like um, I help them have more confidence in themselves. I help them on an end goal of hitting 5k a month or 10k a month or 50k a month. Um, I help them book up their one-to-one -one practice. I help them write their website copy or their website content. Um, I help them put together a marketing strategy right? Those are the things I help them do, period. Now, and this is where people lose it in their brand message. They miss talking about the benefits and benefits is plural because I not only like to write the benefit of what I help them do, but the benefit of the benefit. Okay, guys. So there's more than one benefit to what we help our clients do. So here's an example of what that looks like. Let me go back over some of the examples I just dropped. I help my clients have more confidence in themselves. What's benefit number one? Well, when you believe in you, clients believe in you. Here's benefit two. When clients believe in you, they're more likely to say yes to your paid packages, your paid services. That is the benefit of confidence. Okay. And we know this intuitively, but we need to spell it out for our clients so that they say, that's what I want. I want more clients, but my issue is confidence. And so I want to work with Sally Sue over here because she can help me with this. This is what she specializes in. And she has the expertise and the testimonials and the whatever to show it, the authorities to show it. And so here's another example. Um, I help my clients hit the end goal of 5k a month. All right. So that's what you help them to do. The benefit of that is once they hit that milestone, 
they now understand how to refine and repeat this process for themselves so they can finally, here's benefit two, finally leave their nine to five because that is a goal of theirs. And so if you are talking to people who want to leave their nine to five and start an online business, but they don't know how to do it, you need to be clear about this is who you're appealing to. So your content is going to look different. It's going to be very bite-sized. It's going to be very efficient. It's going to um, be in a certain format, right? We're listening. We're paying attention to um, the benefits and results that our clients really, really want. Um, oh, good morning, Lisa. I'm so glad that you've joined me. Um, and so here's some more examples just to help you think through this exercise. Um, maybe you help people write the website copy or their website content for them. And here's the benefit so that they can focus on engagement, maybe on social media, right? And here's benefit number two, then they can attract more potential clients organically, right? They stay in their zone of genius and you help them with your zone of genius. One last one, just so that we're super clear on how this works. Um, I help people put together a marketing strategy so that they don't have to waste time figuring out the how, and they can just focus on their zone of genius. People want to stay where it's easy, where it's comfortable. We do not like pain. We are looking for pleasure. We are looking for relief from our pain. And that is your job to paint that picture from them. And so here's a secret tip for making sure that your brand message has results and benefits laden completely throughout it and in it. Use this little phrase, it's two words, so that, so that. So I help them write their website content so that they can do X, Y, and Z without J and ABC, okay? Um, so if you want some support with your brand message, if you want some support with um, your clarity on, on making sure that you're, you're clear about who you're talking to and that you're positioning yourself as an expert without coming off like braggadocious, um, because it, it is a fine line and this takes a little bit of work, um, but it doesn't have to take forever. And as long as you're running your brain message through these three filters of, am I showing clarity? Am I showing confidence? Am I being concise in what I'm saying? Then you're, you're going to notice your brain message is going to start converting and captivating your people, the right people. Okay. So if that is you, go ahead and drop your brain message, keep it concise. Keep it in the format of I help them blank, so that blank, so that blank, okay? So I'm happy, so happy to give you guys feedback on your brand messaging. Drop it in the Legacy Driven Entrepreneur Facebook group and tag me in it, and I will take some time this week to review it for you and give you some, some pointers or I might say like, you've nailed it, you've got it, run with it, go get visible with it, okay? So that's what I have for you guys today. Let me know. Um, I